We start a new chapter in the Tamil Canadian story, the construction of the Tamil Community Centre situated at 311 Staines Avenue, which is part of the traditional lands of many Indigenous nations, most recently of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations. This story begins as Tamils started coming to Canada in the 1950s to fill high-skilled jobs and students who came to pursue post-secondary education and graduate programs and seek a better future for them and their families. He came from England uh, looking uh, at moving to another country because of the advertisements that were seen. They there. wanted one. That's they right. wanted people to come to Canada. Canada. So he decided that he will do it. So then he enrolled and uh, got into teachers' uh, college. A few friends getting together in house parties. Okay. That's about it. That, that is that time. And a few of them were all bachelors. They But had also just come. And uh, After some, yes. some of them came, I think, by ship, something like that. You know, they were looking around and they landed here and they decided. And so these people all got together and then it began to okay. get bigger. Essentially, back in the 70s, the community in, uh, in Canada or in Ontario, in Toronto, uh, pretty small. Uh, ab maximum about 60, 70 people at the time, mostly some of the st students at the university uh, and also some families. So the, there was no particular location actually in the 70s or later in the 80s as well. There's no particular location in the early 80s. We used to meet only at other people's you know, home. I came to Canada in 1981, sponsored by my husband, who was my law and legal partner. Uh, during that time, the troubles in Sri Lanka started, so I was very fortunate to avoid the trouble and came to Canada. When I arrived, I didn't know anybody except my husband, uh, but the challenges I have faced is nothing compared to the challenges who followed me in 1983 and later facing the big genocide, 83 riots in Sri Lanka. So it was a real struggle for those people to be in a new land without any direction, any resources to help them. We, we came here to Canada uh, after the 1983 anti-Tamil program and uh, settled here, here, right here in Parkdale. At that time, there was a, a small community, a transient community, uh, that eventually moved on from here. So I arrived actually in Canada, Toronto, 1988, Jan, end of Jan. Um, so this place was actually very crowded uh, with town people. Uh, we were around 30 to 35% actually by that time. By 90s, actually, we were 40, I think. Um, so many of them were uh, single men or, or uh, bachelors and they were trying actually their level best to get rooted here and bring their families here. Um, so it, it, the sense of identity was created, it's actually Barbara Hall coined the term actually, <laughs> sort of a, you know, a little Jaffna. So it's, it's like a, people actually felt okay to be actually even on your sarum, right, you know, so that they were able to feel comfortable with their skin and the spices and, uh, you know, cultural things, you know what I mean, so that's what it was. And then the women were living, uh, standing actually and having chats or skipping there, or older people will have their own senior centers and whatnot, so it was, it was a, you know, the community lived actually together, right, and then particularly because as diaspora, um, back home we had this war and then that, that the whole displacement actually has created a, some sort of a belonging here, you know, which was very really important for us. The Canadian society saw our community coming into the 90s as a settler community, as a community that's struggling to uh, put its roots on the ground here, uh, as a young community that's trying to find uh, a compromise between their own self-identities versus a new Canadian identity. Um, having challenges with regards to mental health uh, and other social issues. Uh, and we had a community that had families and parents especially who had um, very limited resources and skills uh, and experience uh, in managing those conflicts. So that's what contributed to most of the issues, um, which led to uh, obviously um, uh, an a little bit elaborated uh, and Uh, in, in some way um, 
a blown up um issue of tamil youth violence so space has always been a challenge um we are a community that's uh, that's here because we did not have a space back in sri lanka um so as a community finding a place to root ourselves was paramount uh, be it uh, on an individual level as a home or as a community in finding spaces to actually gather uh, and share you know uh, thoughts and and share in celebrations and all those things was very very important that's why you saw all of these small temples and community organizations having small offices sprouting out so may 2009 is a moment that will be etched in our minds as tamil canadians for generations to come as we remember marching through the streets with thousands of our sisters and brothers from coast to coast from toronto to ottawa and that's really why memorialization is so important to our community because it's about accessing free public and open space where we can safely gather and pass on the torch uh, to talk about and reflect on the injustices that have been committed against people and so that's how we demand justice for the future nangal vandu 2010 vandu mb sansila kanada ku vandrangal engala poradumoda engala nanga vandu 2009 am aandu ilangal edam petta inali pujuthathil nu thappi vandrangal kanada ku vandha mutta engala poradumoda kanada vila vandu கம்யூனிட்டி எங்களோட சமூகமாக தமிழ் சமூகமாக இணைந்து எங்களுடைய அந்த தேவைகளை பூர்த்தி செய்யக்கூடிய அந்த வசதி எங்களுக்கு அப்போ இருக்கே இல்லை அதால் நாங்கள் தனிமைப்படுத்தப்பட்டோம் பலர் வந்து நாங்கள் எங்களோட கம்யூனிட்டியோட இருந்து விலத்தி விட்டோம் விலத்தி ஒதுங்கி வாழ்ந்த நாங்கள் ஸோ எனவே புதிதாக நடாக்கு வருபவர்களுக்கு ஒரு அவர்கள் தங்களுடைய தேவைகளை பூர்த்தி செய்யக்கூடிய வகையில் எல்லா தேவைகளையும் பூர்த்தி செய்யக்கூடிய வகையிலே இந்த தமிழ் கம்யூனிட்டி சென்டர் எங்களுக்கு மிக மிக தேவையான ஒன்று சின்ஸ் மூவிங் ஹியர் இன் நைன்டீன் I have seen the growth of the Tamil community over here. Uh, it's a very vibrant community. So so ipa ninga eduth paathinga nanna so many professionals ethniyos field la naangal evlavo munnetam adainjirukrom. But still when we come to the age to the senior age engalukkanda oru idam oru oru idathila naangal poittu onru koodi edhavadhu oru vishayatha seiyrathukku alladhu naangal ninaitha maari oru idathila poittu naangal enathai seiyrathukana oru idam innum engalukku amaiya illa engalukku vandu Canada is very diverse but for Tamil people like me who might be queer or trans finding one place where you can be all the different aspects of your identity safely is not always easy. Oh all the ella fine arts and the dance music vera enna enna engada Tamil kalaacharam and sambandhamana ella idhalaiyum naanga palaga virumbramanga matta vera pannisa class ellame ore edathila irundha naanga easy a konde ethi irakka mudiyum nareyum ore edathila palagam nadaikkum easy a irukku. so we see a lot of lack of support in mental health autism spectrum or any other disabilities you know they come together and meet with other service providers friends their families and also like young people coming together and that's very much needed in our community Two years ago, we came together as an interim board with the mandate of establishing the Tamil Community Center. As a community, we have a myriad of needs that can only be addressed under one roof. We have collaborated with over 120 organizations to secure land, government funding, and fundraising to get the Tamil Community Center built. We are delighted to announce that the Tamil Community Center is receiving funding from all three levels of government. The cost of the construction of the Tamil Community Center project is estimated to be 40 million dollars including HST. The federal government will be investing 14.3 million, the provincial government will be investing 11.9 million, and the community will be investing 9.6 million. The city of Toronto has contributed land valued at approximately 25 million to the project in the form of a long-term land lease at a minimal cost of a dollar plus HST in annual rent. First and foremost, the announcement that we're making here today and the magnificent center that is going to be built, that is a tribute to and the fruit of the work of so many people here today. The Tamil Canadian community. There are going to be things here that are going to celebrate and acknowledge the Tamil culture which is such a unique culture. The new facility will also be accessible to the local community. 
which is home to a large number of new immigrant families, single parent households, and individuals experiencing socioeconomic barriers. The Tamil Community Center has been a dream for the local community here in Scotland. My sincere hope is that the Tamil Community Center will bring together all of these elements to support the language, nurture the culture, support the needs of the community, and provide a safe and inclusive space to remember and reflect and a place to unify. Today we start a new chapter in our collective history as Tamil Canadians. Generations of Tamil Canadians have worked for this day and generations of Canadians of all backgrounds will be well served by the Tamil Community Centre.